Millions of people around the world are already earning an income just by playing crypto games. Now, that's absolutely a crazy statement to think about when you have people who are earning money simply by playing their favorite crypto games. Now, play to earn is not a necessarily new concept, but the whole play to earn part has been switched over the years because traditionally, when users are playing any sort of video game, what they're doing is they're playing and the company earning and now that whole dynamic has shifted where users are not only playing but they're now earning money while playing things that they already love to do and to me this warrants a video because now I'm going to show you exactly how you can get started with play to earn games what exactly a play to earn game is in the crypto space and this tutorial is basically going to go over all the implications of what play to earn is for you and what this means if you're wanting to invest and play video games in the crypto space. Maybe you've never even liked playing video games, but you have been interested in DeFi and other things related to finance. Well, this is a new ecosystem in the crypto space that has been developing at such a rapid pace that it's crazy not to learn about GameFi right now, also known as crypto games, and see what exactly all the hype is about. I'm gonna break down exactly what crypto games are and what the play to earn mechanism means for the future of crypto users and for cryptocurrency overall. So to get started, crypto games are represented as NFTs. Now, if you've never heard of an NFT, an NFT is a non-fungible token. It basically represents ownership and value that is stored on the blockchain. And it's unique to you, so it's basically like your right to ownership of a digital asset that no one can take from you because it's already verified through the blockchain mechanism. There's no trust involved. It's all recorded on the blockchain and that has some really significant implications for games because the games that are being built on crypto right now are offering their in-game characters and their in-game mechanisms on NFTs. So people are using NFTs designed by the games and that's how they're earning cryptocurrency. Now that provides a lot of value to users because NFTs are represented in these crypto games and they do prove that you have some sort of a unique asset that you're holding. So this gives confidence to players that they are truly holding on to something unique and that will have value over time. And the NFTs are really cool because it's basically saying you own a piece of the pie forever. Now, a really good example of a top play to earn game would be Axie Infinity. Now, Axie Infinity was one of the very first play to earn games in the crypto space that achieved a multi-billion dollar market cap. Users who are playing Axie Infinity were able to create characters, they were able to train them, and they were able to battle for more Axie bucks. Now the cryptocurrency Axie exploded in value from going from just about a quarter to past $90. So all the early users in Axie Infinity, can you imagine just holding like a thousand Axie Infinities for a quarter and then just seeing that swell to past $90 per coin? Now that's just one example that just shows that there is huge value right now for crypto gaming and play to earn games and why it's really important to be aware of this space because this space is even Evolving at such a fast pace that to see astronomical gains like that is a very real possibility just for anyone getting started on some of these really new and exciting crypto projects. Axie Infinity even has a record sale of one of their Axies selling for 300 ETH last year. I mean, if you just think about that, owning a piece of a game that you're able to also sell. So if you wanted to draw a comparison to the NFT value from these crypto games, just think about a really popular game called Call of Duty. Now imagine if you've ever played Call of Duty and then creating something truly unique, maybe a character or maybe one of the items on the Call of Duty platform and then reselling it on the Call of Duty platform, for example, and getting a huge payout. That's basically what Axie Infinity is doing. Now, another important component that goes into crypto games and the whole play to earn ecosystem is that when we're using this example of Axie Infinity, you not only gain money from playing the actual game itself, but you can also earn money through selling your unique NFTs. So that's how a lot of people are also creating an income for themselves 
by playing crypto games is they're evolving their characters, they're training them, they're doing all the things necessary to level up their characters, and then they're leveraging the NFT marketplace to then go off and sell it, right? So you don't even have to continually play forever just for yourself, just to earn crypto bucks. You can also just train a bunch of characters and just sell them on an NFT marketplace and create an income that way. So there are multiple ways for people to earn income just by playing these crypto games. With Axie Infinity, I just mentioned you can train, you can battle, and you earn Axie bucks that way. And you can also sell your Axies as an NFT on the marketplace themselves. And that's basically how a lot of these crypto games are being set up now on play to earn. You simply play the game, do battles, train characters, sell characters, buy merchandise to continually gain value over time and then resell these characters, resell these items, or simply just keep playing the game and just keep earning money. So to break it down a little bit simpler, the way play to earn works, and let's just use Axie Infinity as an example since we've already been talking about it. You'll play Axie Infinity, you'll do the battles on the game itself. You'll earn Axie Bucks. After you earn Axie Bucks, you can then just go off to a marketplace and you can sell Axie for ETH or for whatever you'd like. And ETH you can sell for USDC, USDT, or any other cryptocurrency that you want. And then you can cash out that way in cash. And all the Axie that you've earned, you can cash out later for more Ethereum, for any sort of stable coin that you want. I mean, really the possibilities are endless with what you can do with now play to earn games. So you're earning this system. And another thing that a lot of these play to earn games are doing is they're also allowing you to stake your crypto to earn even more crypto so you can continually have a compounding effect just by staking your earned coins just to have them earn more coins for you so the whole play to earn system is really simple when you boil it down it's simply just going to the platform of your choice playing the crypto game and then earning the crypto cash and then you can sell your crypto cash for other cryptocurrencies or keep it in the game and continue buying more resources and continue participating in the game itself so if people are earning while playing something they already like to do it's going to attract you know who knows how many users now this model i'm especially bullish on simply because because we haven't seen a model like this ever before in history where people are actually rewarded by playing games at such a high scale, right? There have been thousands of reports of people from farming countries and from people who are jobless. And these people were able to supplement their income simply by playing Axie Infinity. Now that's what's possible for people who just want to partake in the gaming ecosystem. It's going to be its own economy. It's already its own economy when you think about it for people to earn an income who were jobless before farmers before things like that are now supplementing their income with video game bucks and just think how attractive that model is to millions of different users and one of the last things I will say on the play to earn system is that it's going to continue to be here no matter what the market conditions are. People will always want to play games, no matter if there's a bear market or a bull market. They're going to continue to use these platforms, which in my opinion is going to continually feed value into these cryptocurrency games over the long term. Because if a cryptocurrency is not necessarily dependent on market conditions, but rather dependent on usage, then that's going to bring a whole nother dynamic of value that we haven't really seen before in the crypto space because now it's going to be gauged by user engagement rather than what the market conditions are looking like. And so this is going to be super phenomenal to see how this plays out. There are plenty of games right now that are, are attracting millions of dollars from some of the top VC firms in the world because people know how explosive and how exponential a lot of these play to earn games are simply because the yield, the play to earn system is just so attractive to millions of people that it's just attracting people by the droves. So if you're a beginner i encourage you to start messing around with some of these play to earn games get a feel for it see what you like see what types of games you like i mean there's rpgs there's racing games there are so many cool crypto games coming out right now so i really encourage you to check out which ones are appealing to you and just start messing around with these games see if you like the play to earn system if it works for you get involved in some of these ecosystems because i promise you they're here to stay if there are any video games that you think are really
really awesome right now, please leave them in the comments below. And let's just start a conversation about which games you think will be the future and which games look very promising based on their current tokenomics, based on gameplay, user base, etc. I really want to get your guys' feedback because this is such a hot topic. I'm super pumped about it. And I really want to know what you guys think also about what's happening on the play to earn space right now. This video is strictly for educational purposes only. And of course, subscribe to this channel because YouTube will see all that activity and they will think, yes, that's a great video. And my channel is growing, so that will help me out a lot. Thanks so much. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos and you love everything related to crypto, I release daily crypto videos just like this one. So hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that way you never miss another tip just like this.